So what you're going to need today is you're going to need a pair of scissors for cutting your strand of hair for our strand test. I already did mine and all you're going to do is after you cut that strand test, cut your cut a piece of your hair. You're going to wrap it around with a piece of scotch tape, whatever tape you want to use is fine. And you're going to need some of these just little you know, plastic spoons. You don't use any type of metal whatsoever. And so you're going to put your gloves on. I already got mine on. And I'm using the Clairol Natural Instincts uh, color semi-permanent hair dye. And what you do is you mix one part developer and one part of the color. Only plastic. And you're just going to do one tablespoon or one teaspoon. You don't need to use too much. You don't need that much. It's just a tiny piece of strand. So you're going to mix this up. Mix it really well. And depending on what color you got, you're going to see it change color. Now we're going to go ahead and take our test strand of hair. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to rub it on. I'm going to saturate the whole strand of hair really well. Like I said, you don't need much. This is actually too much. So you want to leave enough to do your head. Okay, so we're just going to massage this into the strand of hair. We're going to let this sit and follow the instructions. You know, you, you want to follow the instructions on your box. And I'm letting mine sit for about 10 minutes, but also I added another extra 15 minutes because you want to allow enough time that it takes you to actually apply it to your whole head. So that helps a lot. Rinse it, let it air dry, and then that's the way you test to see the hair color that you're going to get on your hair. And it's always a good idea to do this because you don't want to end up with orange hair or green hair if you're uh, not sure how the color is going to come out. And that's it. Another thing you can do is with the leftover dye from doing your strand test, you can do a test on your arm for the allergy test. This is very important. Even if you dye your hair, you've been dyeing your hair for years, it's still important to do an allergy test every single time. So you're just going to take a regular Q-tip that you have around the house, dip it into the leftover mixture here, and in the bend of your elbow, right here, you're going to apply just a little bit. I'm just going to rub that on. And you want to do this 48 hours before you actually color your hair. And if you have a bad reaction, I recommend do not use that product because you're going to have a really bad reaction on your scalp if you do this.